Swing and a miss. So the first batter will go down swinging. Is. There's uh, new, new names on both sides of the diamond. But, uh, oh, yeah, don't they? But he has all the control. Nick Norton with the first hit of the ball game. It's a shot up the middle. It was more controlled swing, Mike. It's having to be in the final, wait for, new, for ACT to come to the party. Kenny way of able to reach base and right on cue, Hayden Matthews with a leadoff single. Double play chance here, the throw just off the glove of Norton. He couldn't hold on to it. That is boxes giving those runners, the base runners, an opportunity. Here we get another chance for a double play. This time it's clinical. Very rarely would Nick Norton make the same mistake twice. Brownlow now up to bat. Gee, oh, this it. one's going to get away. Matthews will score because they've got a bad bounce off the back net. The game finishes and the relationships you form. Strong competition at the European Cup that's played just after the ISCs or NRL. And we just love seeing this fast pace. Six strikeouts from seven batters. For, uh, for Queensland. We might not know. Long ball! Venley shout launches one deep left field. A two-run blast. He put a charge in one. And they're going to go out to a three-run lead. Wow, look at that swing. He liked it off the bat. A little bit of a bat flip, but why wouldn't you when you can hit one that far? I'm sure Zane's family across the ditch in Auckland, New Zealand. He stems from the Mount, Ant, Mount Ant, Albert Ramblers. And uh, no doubt there's part the St George Dragons rugby league team in the mid-80s. At shortstop is a ground ball to Norton who will make the out. Maybe a chart on Matthews as he splits that gap. That, that was almost, almost the perfect play. He consistently drives in that 5-6 hole, so they've closed the gap, but to his credit... Ground ball, great take from Spud Bradbury, fires it across. In Australia is so well-renowned as Jack Pesgrove just keeps mowing him down. They are um, producing some great ball players who might need to put a message in from the ACT dugout. As we see a pop-up from Josh McGovern out to the right side, Callum Beachall runs in to take a good catch. Yes, so he it has is. been lights out this week. Yeah. And right on cue for... Come over Chase. and play for our club team, which is really good to see. You know, someone doing a lot of work for another nationality that... Um, over left field into the, uh, into the gum trees. There's that man there again, Norton. Yeah. Smooth as silk over to Matt Harrow at second base for the third out in 2020. First pitch swinging for Whitey. Change of pace yeah. from Bearsgrave. He's got a smile yeah. on his face. That's the first sign of any emotion we've seen from the young man. And I clearly remember, oh, Jack's gone down there. And a long ball opposite field as well. So Wickham got a good piece of it, but Bishul takes the catch. Let's watch Bessgrove as he's... This is Cade's second plate appearance. He shows Bunt and Josh McGovern won't get an easier one in this game for the first out. Simplest things you can do in the game, but yet sometimes we make it very hard. You know, it can be really hard. And Jeff titles won. You know, lots of players in Australian teams. Tommy Cass shot the left field. The throw from Bradbury is off Tiger. Oh. And Van Leesch out will score from second. He advanced on a pass ball to two. Tom Cass. And the New South Wales dugout are up and letting him know. Yeah, no, they're playing really well, aren't they, the New South Wales team? They're um, having a really good game. Big time hit there, you know. It's always good, you know, to have a couple of runs on the board and then just put another one on the board. Makes it easier, you know, for your pitchers. Then Leash out, giving it his all, is he? This one goes to Norton. He goes to ground. He throws off his knees for the out. Also joining me. This one's loose. Cass will score on this one. Unnecessary adverse slide, but that's the excitement of the young man. Oh. Norton goes to his backhand side. It 
Looked like it took a tough bounce and it hit him around the midriff as he went low for the ball. He did the right thing. He stayed low. He's not happy with himself as Callum Beachel scores. Gets away yeah, from the is. catcher. It's a pinch runner. Yeah, Daniel is. Harrison comes into the game to score a run. That is the seventh run. It's, um, there it is. Darby gets a ball high in the zone and he just throws his hands at it and it goes deep over center field. That's a um, good hit in the final, isn't it? Two run shot to Darby. <laughs> the lead extends to nine and it's a shock to see six runs put up in one inning but well can we talk fairy tales this tournament we've seen teams come back from very large deficits to win a game we saw Queensland beat ACT putting up eight in one inning we saw South Australia come from behind to oh, oh. I don't think I've really seen one in a final this big mate not in a final no. oh, right. it's well, a, especially against someone that's had 12 strikeouts has he? count where he's been the entire yeah. game, but it was 22 years later as Bradbury pops up to Keed at second base for the second out. Oh, there, there it go. is. The 2022 National Champions, New South Wales. There you go, they've done it. Fant fantastic, fantastic yeah. achievement by a very, very good team. And the great thing about that team is it looks like a pretty young team too. You know, Absolutely. they look like they're going to be strong for a lot of years there.